OpenAI finally dropped GPT-5, and despite not expecting much due to its architectural limitations, it still managed to impress me. And it's been putting up insane numbers on the LM Arena, a leaderboard where actual users blind test the models to rank them. After sucking at coding tasks for a long time, this time OpenAI excessively focused on making its model better at coding, and for some reason also made it a top-tier medical expert. On the coding side, GPT-5 is the new state of the art. It scores 74.9% on SWE Bench Verified, a benchmark that tests real-world software engineering tasks. On Aider Polyglot, which measures multi-language code editing, it sets a new record of 88%. For health, it scores significantly higher than any previous model on OpenAI's own health bench and health bench heart evaluations, which are based on realistic medical scenarios. GPT-5 also currently ranks number one on the WebDev-focused LM Arena leaderboard, which ranks models based on head-to-head -head user votes. To test its agentic and coding capabilities, I gave the model a vague, single-shot prompt to create a Duolingo-style to-do list. The model first performed autonomous task decomposition, structuring the application's workflow and component hierarchy before generating the code. The result was a self-contained, fully functioning application with multiple complex features, including an XP system, streak tracking, data visualization, even added a dark mode feature, demonstrating a high level of planning and code generation from an under-specified prompt. Now, let's talk about its training and architectural design. Architecturally, GPT-5 is a unified system built on a reasoning paradigm. A real-time router intelligently switches between a fast, efficient model for simple tasks and a deeper reasoning model for complex problems, allowing the AI to think before it responds. GPT-5's training prioritized real-world utility over pure benchmark optimization, meaning the training focused on real-world utility, tuning the model's behavior on qualitative metrics like UI aesthetics and common developer frustrations to better align its output with a user's implicit goals. The leap is in the training itself. OpenAI used its previous models to craft a high-quality synthetic curriculum for GPT-5. This creates a recursive improvement loop, a significant step beyond traditional pre-training that relies on just scraping the web. This design was driven by a focus on real-world utility, not just chasing benchmarks. Its training even involved shaping its personality based on user frustrations with existing tools to make it a better collaborator. Even if GPT-5 is only marginally better than a model like Claude 4 Opus, it's more than 10 times cheaper on input and seven times cheaper on output.